The first rule of getting out of a hole, stop digging. And it's a great opening line in today's decision, which is all about civil contempt. Now, two years ago, I covered contempt, so consider this kind of like an add-on, and the link to that video is in the description. Although this case is a non-family law decision, the holding applies to just about any area of practice, and it's about a guy who, well, he caught a judgment and was doing, well, everything in his power to avoid paying it. It's a tale as old as time, and he was refusing to disclose where he gets his money from when the judgment advanced to the citation proceedings. Because although we don't have debtor's prison in Illinois, when a judgment creditor issues, let's say, a citation to discover assets, you can't ignore it. Which is kind of what this guy did, and the judge ultimately holds him in contempt and issues a fine of $100 a day until he complies answering some questions about his finances. Now that fine, it balloons to like $262,000, meaning he was hiding out for more than 2,600 days. The creditor ultimately loses their patience, and they ask the judge to just incarcerate the guy until he pays that huge fine, which the court grants. Now, a month or two later, Cops pick him up on a routine traffic stop and toss the debtor in jail, where he has a come to Jesus moment. No way! Actually, no. He just files an expedited appeal saying, hey, you can't do that on television. Come on, some of you had to have watched that show as a kid, right? Anyways, the appellate court reverses, and first they say, we are not sympathetic to this guy. But the law is the law, and when contempt arises from a discovery sanction, it's an either-or choice of purge. You can either fine him, i.e. that's your sanction until he complies, or you can jail him until he complies. But you can't do a sanction on a sanction. And additionally, the appellate court briefly, very briefly, suggested even if you could, this amount was just so shockingly high that it might be de facto uncompliable, which is required when the contempt proceeding falls under civil. So for an interesting example, if this were a case of unpaid child support and the purge was like $262,000, well, the suggestion is that that too might not survive on appeal. Food for thought. Regardless, it is reversed and they tell the judge that next time, just lock him up until he complies with the outstanding citation because when it comes to purges, you can't have your fine and jail him too. Anyways, that's all I have. If you liked today's video, there's a cheap and easy way to show your appreciation, but never feel obligated. This is merely a hobby for me, at least when time permits. And on that note, until next time, thanks for watching.